Have you ever sat down and asked yourself, what is innovation? What does this word really mean? Well, a really simple definition is that innovation is a new idea. Take a look around you. Everything you see came from innovation. A curious mind who once questioned, what can I do better? How can I impact the human race? Can I make this task any easier? Our sincere audience, I would like for us to direct our complete attention to this video that was put out by a very prestigious and a very well-known tech company, the Boston Dynamics. This, the title of this video is Robot Dog. Take a look. Now I know what you might be thinking right now. Either this is really cool or it's really terrifying. Personally, I thought it was terrifying. But we cannot be driven away from how fascinating this really was. I mean, this is a huge leap and advancement in our technology. Every once in a while, a new technology, an old problem, and a big idea turn into innovation. A quote by a very famous American inventor and engineer, the inventor of the Segway itself, Dean Kamen. Now, what this quote does is it clearly describes the algorithm of innovation and how inventions occur. Think of it as a really simple math problem. You have a new technology plus an old problem plus a curious mind, which really is the key to this entire problem, and you will get innovation. Now, you might be asking yourself, why is it so important for me as an individual to keep up with all these technologies? Can I just live the old way? Will it impact me in any way? Well, the answer to your question would be both yes and no. You can choose to live the vintage or the old way, or you can choose to keep up with all these technologies. The smarter answer, definitely the second one, keeping up with all these technologies. I mean, would you want to go to work on a horse? Yes, it sounds intriguing, but let's think about this for a second. Where are you going to park that horse? Who's going to look after it? Or let me give you a better example. Would you prefer to do your laundry by hand rather than using a washing machine and a dryer? Keep that in mind. In contrast, nowadays, everything is based off of and run by some sort of technology. Your workplace, for instance, your workplace almost 100% uses some sort of computer. Your mobile phone, you use it to send messages, apply for jobs, check what the weather is like, or checking, for, or check the, checking the traffic in your area. Your car. You use your car to go to work, going out with friends, or going shopping. All these technologies have simply made our lives easier in every field imaginable. That's why one should keep up with them. Now, technology has had numerous positives on our lives. And to keep it simple and short, we use one positive. That is that technology has allowed us to do work more efficiently. Let's take a, a good look at this example. Agriculture, 200 years ago, Agriculture was completely manual, from churning the ground, planting the seeds, and watering them. Later, during the agricultural revolution, John Deere invented the iron plow, which made agriculture somewhat more mechanical. Nowadays, agriculture is completely mechanical. Tractors and water sprinklers are just two of the many tools used in agriculture. Although technology has had numerous positives on our lives, we all know the saying, with every positive comes a negative. That's right, a negative. In the case of technology, there are two negatives. One is on a more personal level, and the other is on a global scale. War and our social lives. Now, let me clarify something. War is, or technology is not a direct cause to war. However, our huge leap in advancement in, in technology has allowed us humans to invent weapons of mass destruction that could easily lead our population to extinction. A really good example of this, World War II. The World War II had an estimated 50 to 80 million casualties. Now, try to imagine this for a second. If a third world war, God forbid, were to occur nowadays, how many casualties do you think we'd have? Those numbers would easily triple and probably quadruple. I mean, we have really advanced nuclear warfare nowadays. Secondly, our social lives, and I'm sure at least most of us have experienced this. People are not as social as they used to be. Nowadays, you see people walking down the street, head tilted down, staring at their phone, and paying no heed to what is going on around them, or greeting whoever they pass by. Kids, kids are addicted to their video games, and are definitely not as active as they used to be 10 or 15 years ago. 
And in return, this has played out on their health. I mean, diabetes, obesity is, is normal for kids now. Overall, the positives outweigh the negatives. Technology is an essential, and it's rising at a very shocking speed. A really good example of this, the 20th century. During that era, we humans invented helicopters and airplanes, the World Wide Web, the internet, credit cards, advancements in medicine, and most importantly, we made it to space and landed on the moon. Our current era, the 21st century, is also an excellent time for innovation. Take the UAE Mars 2117 mission, for example, a mission that's one of its kind. And as an individual, what you could really learn from this is keep the door for all possibilities open, no matter what people have to say. The mission that the UAE wants to colonize Mars by the year 2117, 99 years from now, yes, 99 years from now, and build the very first city on there. Now, if that project is successful, you may ask, you will have the entire world scrambling just to keep up with such a huge leap in advancement and innovation. Technology and innovation is essential. It will always find a way to improve our lives by increasing the efficiency within it while decreasing the flaws. One must always keep in mind and remember that technology will reach to a certain point that we as humans right now cannot imagine. I mean, for all we know, a war between humans and ro robots may break out one day. Our dear valued audience, I just want you to keep one thing in, in mind and always remember, I hope you're listening carefully to this. If you have an idea or you're ambitious about something and you think you could bring about innovative revolution in this world, go for it. For all you know, you may be the person to bring about a cure for cancer. An idea can turn into dust or magic based on the talent that rubs against it. Thank you.